Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Friday evening episode of Ted's Boosula with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Now, I guess it's the Friday evening, or I guess you could say uh, late afternoon, because it's half past four on the 20th of November 2020. I hope I'm finding you all in a good state of affairs, and if I'm not, then I hope things improve for you very, very promptly. But anyway, on to the drink of the day. So I thought, considering this feels like it's going to be a pretty standard weekend, I thought that I might as well start off with a pretty standard looking beer. So I've gone for something from our friends over at the Mighty Company Sainsbury's. Now, this is Wainwright, the Golden Beer. Now, this is brewed in part, I think, cooperation with Marston's PLC, which is a very old brewery up in uh, Wolverhampton. But this is an invention by a company that I think uh, that are partnered with them called Wainwright, who obviously, as you can see, the beer is named after. And this is Wainwright the Golden Beer. So on the back it says, a superb thirst-quenching refreshing beer packed full of flavour, lightly hopped with subtle sweet notes and a delicate citrus aroma. Inspired by the author Alfred Wainwright, famous for his Lakeland Fell Guide books, for every summit Wainwright conquered throughout his passion and commitment, each one delivered the ultimate reward, refreshingly rewarding for those who think they've earned it. So that's a pretty positive message on the back there. It's 4.1% alcohol volume as well. And I got this from the Sainsbury's on Western Road in Brighton for £1.60. So I think it's pretty reasonably priced for a half litre of beer. That's pretty reasonable quite honestly so yeah no that looks good i also quite like the look of the, the label and the bottle good chunky bottle with a nice relaxing label full of you know nice designs actually very simple clean cut gold design outline there the very simple text and a nice image of a mountain that i'm sh i'm not sure what mountain that is actually um but i'm guessing it's one that mr wainwright you know, climbed when he was still alive. So, yeah, no, very nice looking bottle. I'll give that a 10 out of 10. Simple but pleasant. So, let's give ourselves a quick snifter of the bottle of question and uh, see if it actually smells any good and give ourselves, hopefully, a good first impression. But anyway, let's uh, give this sucker a sniff. So, let's see. Okay, so it smells like a much more mild um, version of like a gold beer, like a Banks Barley Gold, and mixed with like a slightly lighter, more crisper lager, like... It actually smells a little bit like Carling. Like, that's the thing. Like, Carling, I've never thought is an, an amazing beer, but it does have a rather like simple, but like generally like welcoming smell. You know, it's clean, it's crisp, you know what you're getting into, and I feel like I know what I'm going to get into with this. I feel like it's going to be a bit lagery, with a bit of a hoppy finish and maybe a gold beer undertone. So I'll give the smell like an 8 out of 10. It smells good. I'm just not I'm not entirely sure what to expect, but I have a good impression of what I'm going to get with this. So quick palate cleanser of water first. And then on to the most important part of the video, which is to see what the sucker tastes like. So bottoms up okay the initial taste is kind of like a standard lager So, like a slightly more hoppy, a slightly more citrusy version of something like, um, I guess a carling, I suppose. Um, and the finish, weirdly enough, kind of feels less like a lager, and more like a cross between an amber ale and a juicy pale ale, but like without the bitterness that you'd usually associate with a juicy pale ale. I mean, like this a tiny tang of bitter, but it's like extremely minute. Um, yeah, and then underlying it, there's this interesting sort of like citrusy gold beer taste that's quite interesting actually. 
I mean, it's a pretty standard gold beer, quite honestly. It's it is quite literally what it says on the tin, you know. Um, you know, it's gold beer. It's got slightly citrusy notes on on the undertone, and the finish is slightly hoppy, but not too much so that it will ruin the flavour for people who perhaps aren't into particularly hoppy beers. So I think it's a good it's a good entry for like people who are looking into getting into like beers and golden beers and ales that are like based on hops and barleys and stuff like that so it's yeah it's it's simple it's refreshing and it's interesting enough that i feel like it could get a lot of people into beers like this so yeah well done to wainwright this is a pleasant enough beer um it's not like overtly exceptional or remarkable so i'll just give it like a Like a 7 out of 10. It's, it is over average. It's nice, but uh, it's just not the most remarkable thing out there. But I think it is, like, generally for what it is, it's a competently brewed, refreshing and pleasant enough drink that I probably would be happy to go out of my way to get again. Because for the price it is, I could definitely do a lot worse. And I've had beers that have been, you know, like nearly double this amount, but, like, haven't tasted anywhere near as good. So, yeah, definitely well done, Wayne. Right, This is a very, very fine beer. But anyway... Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Or at least if you found it somewhat informative, anyway. And if you want to suggest any episodes for Ted's Boo Cellar, or any drinks I should review on future episodes of this show, then leave your ideas and suggestions in the comment section down below. And if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description down below. But, until next time, I've been your most gracious host, Ted. Have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, take a mask with you to the shops, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Salon. Bye-bye for now. Ah, oof.